Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cool little firework animation celebrating the 4th of July. So this is how it's going to look. And there's just going to be all these different fireworks that will explode. So let's go ahead and start this project. Click out of full screen, click the create button. And the first thing we're going to do is get rid of that cat and upload well not upload it's already here for you but we need the star sprite so get the star sprite and then we need to start coding so when green flag clicked forever we needed to go to like a random position because this star is not going to be doing anything it's going to be creating clones and those clones are going to do that thing so when green flag click forever go to random position and then we needed to create clones of itself not forever but not just once so that's why we need a repeat so forever go to random position repeat 10 repeat let's say 50 times because we don't want too many clones not too little clones so then get create clone of myself so now we need to code some more when i start as a clone we need to show because it's going to be hidden originally because the original one is hidden so when it starts clone show so let's test this and you can see that only a couple of stars appear but actually underneath each of these stars are 50 clones of each star because that's how many we made how many clones we made so we need to change that and we need to make them move not just stay in one position so for that we don't want it to move forever, but we don't want it to move one time either. So for that, we will be needing a repeat. So let's get a repeat, and let's say repeat 100. And inside of that 100, repeat 100, we need to move. And how it moves is a change Y by something and a change X by something. So you get those two blocks and put them in your repeat. And they come with a 10, change x by 10, change y by 10. Let's see what happens when it's 10. And it, they always move in a top right uh, position up here. So to actually make them move in any direction, we will be making two variables. One of them will be for the x and one of them will be for the y. One of them will name... So click make a variable and the first one we will name dx from distance on the x coordinate and make sure it's for this sprite only because each clone will with each clone will have its own distance on the y, on the x coordinate so okay and make another variable dy and make sure it's for this for this sprite only as well and okay and now you have them dx and dy so at the very beginning we will need to set them to a random so let's get them set dx and set dy to a pick random like i said so let's say negative five to five and the other one same negative five to five now let's test it and see what it does so it still does the same because we didn't change anything with the change x by and the change y by so now we actually have to change something here change x by we need to change x by dx and y by dy distance y so let's start it and you can see they go in all sorts of directions not just in the top right so now there's only one thing missing and that is gravity so it needs, they need to fall at one point and they don't just stay up in the air make sure you hide the original and now we need to do the gravity thing so how to do that is we have to change the dy because the dy is the distance of the y and the y is the one going up and down so if you change dy negatively it'll fall down so let's say change dy by negative one and let's try it and you can see they all explode like that like a firework and then they fall down on the ground now 
when they get on the ground, it would be good to, like, just delete this clone or hide. So, let's, we need an if for that. So, if, if, x, if y position equals, well, it's not good to be equal, because sometimes it falls, like, a bit lower than that, or, yeah. So, we need if y position is smaller then so if y position is smaller then and we can see if what is to be smaller than so if by negative 160 let's say negative 160 so if y position is smaller than negative 160 then we'll just go ahead and delete this clone which is at the bottom of control so now let's run it and as you can see it does exactly what we wanted when it touches the ground it deletes this clone and now as you can see when they pop up they pop up not at the same time not all at the same time so it would be more realistic to make them all pop up at the same time so how we do that is we actually get this block right here and use it wait until and we have the wait until block does the condition so it waits until this condition that we're gonna put here is true if it's not true then it won't do anything any code after it if it is true then it will keep going so now we have to go ahead and make a variable which we will call start and it's gonna be for all sprites because all every single clone has the same start they have to pop up at the same time so it's not for the sprite only so okay and there's the start variable at the beginning here we have to set start to zero and then the wait until can be something like if start equals one and we're gonna make start equal one somewhere after the clones are created. So if start equals one. It's not if, it's wait until start equals one, okay? So there, and then go back to variables. And right here, after it creates the clones, we have to set start to one. And let's run it and test it. And as you can see, they all pop out at the same time. But I don't see too many of them going up. They're just falling down directly. So what we can do is change the, the dy range over here and make it something like 15 or 10 or even 20 if you'd like. And if you test it, they all go higher. They don't just fall down. They go higher sometimes because it's a random. So now we can make this project cooler by doing a couple of stuff. The first thing we can do is make one more costume by clicking this and paint. So here you have you can make a costume. You might want to zoom out. And let's make a costume. My costume is basically going to be writing that says fourth of July and that we can center and of course you can write whatever you'd like and as you can see over here it works but now there's no stars so we need to change the costume at the beginning here so switch costume to and then we can do a random switch costume to pick random one to two because there's only two costumes and when we run it, you can see sometimes the 4th of July writing, sometimes the star. Another cool thing we can do is change the color effect of the star or the writing. So if you go to looks, there's this code block right here. Change color effect by 25, or you can pick. I'm going to go with 10. Let's see what happens then. And we can actually put that right there change color effect and you can see that looks pretty cool and there's a couple more things you can do like change the size here the original size let's make it 10 and then in the 
program you can change the size so it gets bigger so we can put that right there and we can do that's a bit too big it turns so we can do change size by a pick random and we can do pick random uh, one or like let's say 10 to 20 or let's see that is even bigger so let's try actually 1 to 10 see how that works out and that's pretty cool it's still pretty big so let's try 1 to 5 and you can see that is probably the best one yet so there you go we can also do one last thing and rotate the star or the the writing so we can do that by going to motion and get the turn 15 degrees and right now they're turning see but they're only turning that way so let's make a variable and we can call it something like angle and make sure it's for this sprite only because we want each star or writing to have its own direction of like rotation so okay and let's at the very beginning here we need to set angle to let's do a pick random from let's say negative 5 to 5 and then over here we need it to turn angle degrees so we can do that and make sure you uncheck all these unless you want to see them on the screen and you run it and it works they rotate in their own direction now don't forget to name your project over here I'm gonna name it fireworks then you can go ahead and add a background if you'd like I am going to look um, I think these stars are good so this star background that's pretty cool and let's add a sound so we can go to the sounds category here and I'm actually I actually have a sound so upload sound and it's right here delete if there's any original sounds you can delete that so it doesn't confuse you and now I have this it's really long so I can go ahead and delete most of it because we only need like a two second thing that's literally all we need so cut it even more. delete it we can actually cut like a bit more of this delete and that should be good. And now go back to your coding. And here we need to play start sound fireworks until done. And that's just how we wanted it. It makes that sound. And now don't forget to save your project. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you next time for another little game you can make.